I'll just say that back.
Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord.
Hey, man. Bless him, Lord.
Ei mai! Ei mai! face of God. God laid this scripture on my heart. And all I know to do is read it and give you what he's laid upon my heart. Yeah, Jeremiah right. chapter number 20. Book of Jeremiah chapter number 20. Very familiar reading. Probably won't be before you but just too many. Pray for me that God will give me strength. My yeah, body's weak tonight. Amen. Amen. I need a touch from the Lord. Amen. 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 <coughs> Verse number 7. Jeremiah chapter number 20. The Bible said, O Lord, thou hast deceived me. And I was deceived. Thou art stronger than I, and hast prevailed. I am in derision. Daily everyone mocketh me. For since I spake, I cried out. I cried violence and spoil, because the word of the Lord was made a reproach unto me and a derision daily. Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. But his word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones. And I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. For I heard the defaming of many fear on every side, report saying they and we will report it. All my familiars watched over me, over my holding, saying, Preadventure, he will be enticed, and we shall prevail against him, and we shall take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me as a mighty, terrible one. Therefore, my, my persecutors shall stumble. Yeah. They shall not prevail, they shall be greatly ashamed. For they, for they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. But, O oh Lord, oppose that, that, that tries the righteous and seest the reins and heart. Let me see thy vengeance on them, for unto thee have I opened my cause. Sing unto the Lord, praise ye the Lord. For he hath delivered the soul of the poor yes. from the hand of the evildoers. You may be seated. Bless Amen. You uh, may be seated. I appreciate the Lord. Appreciate his good reading tonight. Amen. Amen. Appreciate his good reading. I want to uh, just talk for a minute, preach whatever the Lord happy to do tonight. Oh, I just can't quit. Amen. Amen. I just can't quit. Yeah. Amen. Now, I thought, I read this today, and the Lord began to bring this to my mind today, and I read it, and uh, I began to think about where all Jeremiah had been, and what all Jeremiah had been through, and, 
Uh, we all know that Jeremiah was a preacher of a prophet, amen, yeah. of the Lord. And we all know the story of Jeremiah. Jeremiah's down here. Uh, he's a preaching the word to the people, and nobody uh, is a hearkening, and nobody's a listening. They're rebelling. They're turning their backs, and they're walking away. It seems like that every time uh, that Jeremiah begins to tell the people about what the Lord said, it seems they just turn their back and walk away. Amen. Amen. Try to uh, reminds me of the day and hour in which we live. Amen. Uh, Amen. But now Jeremiah got down to the place to where he said, I'm just not going to talk about the Lord no more. I'm not going to mention his name no more. Amen. In other words, Jeremiah said, I've had enough. I'm just, I'm done with it. Amen. But uh, there was something greater that was on the inside of Jeremiah. Uh, that Jeremiah just couldn't quit. Now, Amen. He said, I he said, I just won't make mention of his name. He said, but his word was in my heart. Amen. Now I just want to preach just for a minute. Help you. And I've been out of the way, I promise you. I won't be before you long. Amen. But I thought what the number one key that struck my mind today uh, when I was reading and praying and seeking the Lord is the number one reason Jeremiah couldn't quit, Brother Paul, is the word was in his heart. Amen. Amen. The word was in his heart. It wasn't in his mind. It wasn't just in his conversation, but the word of blessed God was in his heart. Amen. But when you get the word of God down on the inside of your heart, amen, you won't be able to quit. Amen. And you say, preacher, how do you figure? Amen. When you get the word in your heart, amen, you're getting the Bible. Let me just read you something else. Amen. Like I said, I may not get to be the way tonight. Amen. But I want to help us. Amen. Yeah. Yes, but the Lord. Bible said in John 1 and 1 in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen. Amen. So but when you get the Word down on the inside of your heart, but no matter the circumstance and no matter of what may befall you or come your way, but there'll be something down on the inside but that'll let you know, hey, but you can't quit. Amen. You gotta stay. Amen. On the battlefield. Amen. There's times where that I feel like bullets are going to my head. And it feels like I'm surely gonna die. Amen. But there's still something down on the inside of me. A church road that makes me want to fight. I said it makes me want to fight. Amen. You may say, preacher, amen. There ain't no use in trying. Everybody else is falling away. We might as well too. Amen. The difference in between me and them. Amen. I've got the word but down on the inside of my heart. Amen. You said, preacher, you ought not say that. If they had the word in their heart, they could walk out and throw it down like a right God. Amen. But I said it to my heart. I let it settle down deep inside. And no matter what comes our way, if you put it to termination, that you can't quit in your life, you'll be able to stand in the end time. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Amen. I just can't quit. Amen. I got thinking. Amen. The man the sister was talking today. Amen. I'm just mentioning some things uh, to encourage us tonight. Amen. When we begin to think back, amen, I know the skirt is going to come. I know things are going to come our way. Uh, but I want you to think about something. Uh, when discouragement comes and you feel like you can't go home no more, uh, think about what all God's done. Yeah. Oh, my. Think about what God has done in your life. Amen. When you think about quit, Brother Jared, uh, think about what God has uh, done in the womb of that wife. Uh, and then out of that time that you prayed, uh, and it felt like God forgot about you, uh, and Jeremiah felt the same way. Uh, but they were just something down on the inside uh, that said, I can't quit. Uh, amen. Yeah, I will mean, let you know uh, if you've got any God about you at all, uh, there'll be something down on the inside uh, that'll say, I just can't quit. Uh, yeah. I thought about what Brother Todd said today, hey, man, well, a while back when he was going through his discouragement and he was going through a low time, he said, I really didn't even want to come to church. He said, but there was something just broke me back here. Hey, man, you know what that was? Having the word, brother. Hey, man, gets down on the inside of your heart. It will put a burning desire and to be in the house of God and to be among God's people. Hey, man, if you ain't got a desire to be in the house of God, you ain't got the word down on the inside. I know it's plain, but it's the truth. We can get the word in on the inside. We can put it in fire and be in the house of God. Amen. Amen. That word gets down on 
you need. And it'll, it'll, whenever, whenever you say, I just don't want to go to church, it'll turn that desire. It'll put that desire up. Maybe I just ought to go. And then you get to the house of God and you get the help that you need. Amen. See, that's what I, I know I keep going back to it. And that just may be the message tonight. I may just say it over and over and over. Amen. When you get the word down on the inside, I said, when you get the word down on the inside, you won't do what you want to do no more. You won't act the way you want to act no more. But you'll be a living. Amen. By the word of God. And the word of God said, I know y'all my faithful people. And I love you for it. But I'm just going to tell you. And the Bible said, I'm not to fail. And to send yourself together. Amen. Hey, that's what comes part of the word. Amen. When you get the word down on the inside, it'll put you where you need to be and help you grow the way you need to grow. Amen. 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 Well, I want to be in the word. Amen. Jeremiah. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah got, got persecuted. Amen. He got beaten Amen. down. He got trodden down. It was just things about Jeremiah. I mean, I'd be honest with you reading about Jeremiah. If you ain't never read the book of Jeremiah, go home and read the book of Jeremiah. Yeah. Amen. I read that book. I get to feeling sorry. Amen. For poor old Jeremiah. He remembers because he was trying his hardest. Uh, but it seemed like every way he turned in, uh, the Prince of College of Satan uh, yeah. was buffed against him. Uh, yeah. How many y'all ever felt like that? Amen. Uh, yeah. hey, every which direction you turned, uh, it felt like the devil had you concerned. Uh, yeah. Oh, my, yeah. but there's a word uh, down on the inside. Uh, even when Jeremiah was down in prison, uh, uh, reading on over later in the book of Jeremiah, uh, even when they threw him down in prison, uh, uh, falsely accused him. Amen. Hey, didn't do no harm. Uh, they thought him down in prison. Uh, and that old King Zedekiah uh, came down to Jeremiah. Uh, and he said, Jeremiah, uh, have you heard a word from the Lord? Uh, and Jeremiah, even being in prison, uh, uh, down and out, uh, uh, persecuted by everybody, uh, uh, falsely accused by everybody, uh, even in his lowest time, uh, he said, Yeah, I've heard from the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm glad tonight. Even in my lowest, if I keep the word in me, I can hear from the Lord. I said I can hear from the Lord. Amen. 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 I worry about people when they never got nothing to say for the Lord. Yeah. Lord. Jeremiah said, Yeah, I've heard from the Lord. Amen. Even him in that prison. Amen. Getting starved to death. Yeah. yeah. I've heard from the Lord. So you had the word in it. Yeah. Amen. When you got the word in you, there'll be something down on the inside that'll be like a fire. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You just can't quit. Amen. Me and Brother Paul was talking before church. I told her on the porch. Amen. I just, you may fall out with me here if you do. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Amen. But I just don't believe you can quit today. Amen. Come back tomorrow. Quit today and come back tomorrow. Quit today and come back tomorrow. I just don't believe it works that way. I believe when you get the word down on the inside, it ain't so easy to throw it back in the corner. Amen. Amen. I believe I've been times in my ministry. I've got about left the pulpit. I walked out the door and said, I just ain't going to do it tomorrow. But by the time the they rolled around, there was something turning down on the inside. What was that? It was the Word of God. Hey, man, when you get the Word, when you get God on the inside, there'll be something different about you. You want to do right. You want to be in His house. You want to talk right. You want to listen to the right things. You want to look at the right things. When you get the Word down on the inside, I'm going to really change you. And you won't be who you want to. Amen. Amen. It's a fire. Amen. Fire. Shut up in my bones. It's got to come out. Amen. I got to let it show. I got to let it show, Brother Jerry. Even in our lowest time, there ought to be something that's turning down on the inside of us. Amen. And when I don't even feel like being in church, I ought to be able to say thank you, Lord. But when I don't even feel like getting up in the choir, I ought to be able to come up here and say, Hey, Lord, prepare me a 
ought to be a sanctuary. I remember no matter how good I've had a week, no matter how much the devil's persecuted me, no matter how much my friends have persecuted me, and you know why? Because the word abides in me. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. I'm glad the word abides in me. It isn't because I'm worthy, no. It was because I was made worthy by the blood of the Lamb. Worthy uh, by the blood of the Lamb. Uh, when the Word lives in you, uh, you abide in what the Word says to do. Amen. Amen. I'm almost uh, <laughs> Jeremiah said, but the, the Word of God was like a fire that was shut up in his bones. Yeah, amen. amen. It was like a Word of God was shut up in his bones. Now, people worry me nowadays. They never know concern among our people no more. Right. Y'all with me? Yes, they never know. Man, Paul talked about it the other week. Ain't no concern no more. Uh -huh. Amen. People don't never, never if they see Iron Struggle, no well, he can get over it. He's a big boy. Amen. That ain't that word. Uh -huh. All that word will shut up in the bowels of compassion. Yeah. And it'll love on you. Oh, Lord, it'll love on you. Yeah. It'll uh -huh. help you out when you're struggling. Yeah. It will help you out when you feel down and out. Hoping you don't feel like hey, you don't feel like everybody's against you. And all hell is you. It will come up and love on you. And put its great big arms around you. I'm glad for the word. I said I'm glad for the word. It's made me do it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I just can't quit. Bless you, Lord. Bless you. you ever thought about it, preacher? Yeah, I just can't, though. Why? I just can't. Because the words are living in me. Right. The words are living in me. Amen. Amen. You know, you know, I think sometimes, amen, our, 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 our people here at Church Brook, I thank God for you. I really do. I love you with all my heart. Amen. But we better get the word in us. Yep. Amen. Because if we don't, the devil's out to kill. I preached the other night down there. And the Lord, Lord, be my helper. And I believe he's going to have us preaching here sometime. But I preached down there the other Friday night, last Friday, this Friday night. Amen. I preached on, amen, the devil. Amen. Getting robbed by a man without a gun. Oh, yeah. Amen. We just let him come in and take everything yeah. we got. Right. But when you get, when you get, hallelujah, when you get the word down on the inside, amen, he can come close. He can come and fight against you. He can fight against your flesh. But he can't reach that soul. But when the word of God is in you, you got to give him the soul before he can access it. But I ain't got no intention to hold it. But the Lord giving him what I've got. I've come too far to look back. I've seen too much to look back. Lord, I better make it out of my home. Amen. Amen. That's right. I just can't quit, Ian. Nope. No, sir. Bless I just can't quit, Aaron. Uh-uh. Oh. I just can't quit, Jerry. No, sir. Why can't you quit? Have a good morning. Word. Yeah. Yeah. Word, Todd. I can't quit. You know why? Because when I, you get that Bible up every morning, you begin to tell me what the Word says. Yeah. Just because it lives down on the inside of me. If I'm down and out, I begin to see a little bloom becoming in my soul. That's right. I feel I that mind. spirit begin to turn it down on. Oh, one writer said that wheel in the middle of the wheel. Yeah. It begins to mind. turn and it begins to turn. And before long, I feel like praising the Lord again. You said, preacher, I don't feel like praising the Lord. Amen. You don't understand what I'm going through. I'm going to tell you what. And you mark it down in your day book. You better praise the Lord. No matter how hard the times get. Yeah. No matter how bad the circumstances get. If you don't praise the Lord in the bad times, you not bad. You better not expect God to bless you. Amen. When you feel good. Amen. Because whenever it's bad, and you can give God praise, when everything's going good, God will come by and bless you. Yeah. Uh, but you better count on it. Uh, you better praise it when everything's going wrong. Amen. That's it. Amen. The Word is why I can't quit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, stand on the inside. 
talk to pastors and you talk to churches, and everywhere we look, people's fading away. I just can't quit. Right? Nothing more. Before it's over with, it may just be me and my family. I don't know. It may just be you and your family sitting at Cherry Brook. Joshua told him, Joshua said, you can go serve the gods of your fathers if you want to. But it's me and my house. We're going to serve the Lord. Amen. I've got it set. Amen. I've got it settled, Chuck Brook. Amen. I'm going with Jesus. That's right. I'm going with Jesus. I've seen him. I've tasted him. Yep. And I know what he tastes like. Yeah. And it just keeps getting better. Amen. Better. Amen. And better. As the fellow said last night, it gets sweeter. Sweeter. And sweet. Amen. Amen. When I don't feel like shouting, God will give me a song. When I don't feel like testifying, God will give me a testimony. Yeah. It may not mean much, and it may not mean much to you, but whatever God gives you, you better take exactly it. Right. Amen. 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 I just can't quit coming in. Amen. I just can't quit. I don't know where you're at, but I give you what the Lord me. I just can't quit. Why, preacher? Because the word of It's down deep. Appreciate it. Say more. 